been in like 10 or so. It's quite a lot, but you can manage to beat quite a few of them as far as I know. But it's best if they don't touch your cargo. <laughs> I can try to traverse to the other side. You've beaten 10 versus 1? That's great! So it is doable. Good to hear. save here I guess I will need to make it a round trip so I will not go to Luden's fan right now I might just get to the distribution center offload uh, the deliverables towards Port Knot City <coughs> and then return <coughs> sorry then return to try to deliver uh, something to Luden's fan to connect it up Belden when I really need to swear I really do not have this need often, not even once in, in the last six or more months here. I'll try check. You'll know what is going on and Bot will probably miss it. Probably. Probably. Uh, I mean, you can try. But I guess their, their language uh, dictionaries might be included in the auto mode. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> You're probably right, Belden. You can also hold all, all L2 and R2 and press square to slam them, which stuns them. Okay. Well, I'm mostly holding both of those buttons down because we are carrying a lot of cargo, so... <laughs> I need to do that for stability, and then my fingers hurt. Okay, I'm gonna change my boots and we will recycle the old ones here. Well, this is not nice. Ben are nice languages, that's true, but they're trying to protect any language from swearing. I don't know. I will reconsider how to use the auto mod, but for now it's... I don't even know what setting it is. It might be even low. It might be like the major swear words are getting caught. Barando, hello. Hello, sir. How is your day today? Happy to see you. I hope you're doing great. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. So I wanted to recycle my older boots. No, these are our current boots. These mule boots are in a bad shape. Where are the other ones? These are our current ones. That's odd. Delivering cargo. <laughs> it doesn't catch Danish? Okay, confirmed. I don't know what that word means, but I'm not going to investigate it right now. <laughs> Thanks for trying. Thanks for trying, teddy bear. Barando, how is the BB doing? You take care of it? I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> we just very recently got into a fight and got badly hurt. So I reloaded my last save because it was really bad. Like damaged cargo, stolen cargo. We were just beaten and then left somewhere outside of the area. Not nice. 
But we have managed to kill a, a small BT with a hematic grenade in the morning. And I believe BB was happy. Yeah. Because if BB is happy, everybody's happy. Okay. Is there something in the private locker? It's the capital knot, capital knot. Everything should go to capital knot city. Hmm. <laughs> Barando seems like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> Some people maybe don't even know what a Tamagotchi is these days. But yeah, it's a living one. <laughs> it's alive. It's definitely alive. Good. So there are no boots in my private locker. So let's fabricate a pair. Let's auto arrange this. So, by the way, I used the ladder and it was immediately unusable. This one is 29% damaged. This PCC is also just a little. This ladder is halfway through. Shouldn't be too bad. Take on orders. We have 94.4 kilograms on us. Delivery time or uh, delivery of fish from a BT area. Ooh la la, interesting. Okay, we are not doing this because it's back to capital knot. Retrieval structure repair devices lost during delivery. Yeah, that's another one. 86 kilograms. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue our journey. Thank you for your contribution. Let's save it here. Okay, I was just looking for Albus, but seems he's not under my chair, so I can move around a little. Okay, just a second, guys. Just a second, and we will continue. I will also have a sip of tea. Because it gives me strength. <laughs> Teddy bear, I should set up my PC again, so you're AFK. Of course! Good luck with it. Good luck with having everything properly set up. You'll need it. Well, I don't wish to waste your time, but I would actually ask what happened to it. But I know you need to work, so maybe later. <sighs> Sam, you can do it. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. so good we're taking the complete other route and I feel like this is a BT area it might be might actually be a BT area 
And what are we doing on the damage? 35%, 35%, 35 as well. 35. Hmm. I'm still outside of the of the mule range. I will do this little trick. Okay, I hope it's not raining yet. We'll fix the cargo right here. So teddy bear, um, I'm sad because I need a new motherboard. Well, nothing I had a friend, well, nothing I had a friend over, so we sat in the living room with it being on the TV. Uh-huh. Well, a new motherboard, that's a thing. Yeah, you cannot do much without it, definitely. Sorry to hear that. Really sorry to hear that. Okay. Okay, everything restored. This is okay. Looks like you've got an empty container there, huh? Mm-hmm. Feel free to submit junk like that to Bridges. You might not have a use for it, but we do. Well, then BTs were right after the mule area, I think. Yeah, I remember that as well. On one side, definitely. I don't know if it was on the both banks of the river. We'll see. And Teddy Bear, you know you can hold L2 while having and then press square, right? I don't get that sentence. Uh, I can hold... L2 and press square for what? Well, I was pressing L2 and then R2 to spray uh, to an area. It, it's essentially the same method that you use with the grenades. So spray backwards on oh backwards if you are facing the other way around. Okay, thanks. I still like to see it in front of me, <laughs> but it's a good thing that you can spray backwards as well. You mean backwards? You need you don't need to unload your cargo. You mean? Oh, I didn't get that the first time. Thank you. So you just take out your spray and you spray on your backpack. Good to know. Okay. Here is the scanner. And we run. And there is one of those guys right in front of us. It's just so you don't have to unload your welcome. Let me know if I spoil something or not. No, you don't. If you just try to help me with the game mechanics, it's awesome. Thank you for it. But it's not a spoiler in my book. Spoiler would be if you spoil the story for me hugely. This is just help. So thank you for it, teddy bear. They didn't catch me. I ran around, so I hopefully can avoid them now. You would never spoil the story, don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. I know many people don't. Knock on wood. 
We haven't experienced this on this stream once. Most people came in to help with the game mechanics and try to see how I handle some situations in games, but not really spoiling the story or anything like it. So I really appreciate it. Okay, we almost fell down. Shit, shitty, shit, shit. Another scanner. This area is a death trap. Okay, where is the distribution center from here? Okay, we're already over there. I guess that's good. We will try it from this side. Sadly, this is a BT area. And Luden's fence is over there, but we might try to go up this hill and then try to get there. Because I really wish to connect all the spots on this map before we move away. Before we go to chapter 3. Mm-hmm. Threat has been detected nearby. Still nothing to Luden's fan. Wind farm, distribution center. Hmm. Damn, my nose is itchy. Oh my. <laughs> That's worse than an in-game attack. Okay. Got better. It's a little piece of a lost cargo. Let's take it. Benjamin Hancock's drop cargo. Okay. Ichi knows my worst enemy, right? It's an arch nemesis. Still a little itchy, but much better now. Is it raining? Can I save? Okay, I can save. Okay, that's good. And... <laughs> we need to go around this area. This is definitely a BT area. Yep, there we go. There we go. This game will teach me to hate rain. I'm telling you that. Gingerster, I try not to scratch it though because I get triggered every single time I have to scratch it. <laughs> oh my. Well, sometimes you have to. Sometimes it just won't go away. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I guess we're getting close. This... This will be rough. Come on, not now. Oh, 
rain flavored pizza? Well, that's the worst. <laughs> Delivering pizzas? Hmm. What kind of pizza? I'm a pizza delivery boy. Come on! The delivery for IC Wiener. I'm actually lucky to never have tasted a completely rained down pizza. That never happened. <laughs> Does your sensor point to dangerous area? Yep, the the Odradek, as the name goes, it's called Odradek. It shows the nearest BT, which is right over there. Freak show, <laughs> and Jin. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> We show welcome back. I've been seeing this game. It looks really good. It really does. And I'm still only in chapter two. To be honest, I don't even know how many chapters there are in this game. But as far as I've been hearing and reading, you should move out of chapter two fairly soon because the game begins a little more after that. You will get a lot more equipment. So you should move out. Okay, I'm gonna try to crouch. I'm gonna try to scan around us. Don't see any BTs. Barando, this will be the next training simulator for delivery service like the army does with Ego Shooter. <laughs> yeah, this definitely feels like a good simulator. It really does. He showed them the finger. Yeah, that was BB. So sometimes when you exit the BT area, the BB uses uh, the Odra deck to show them as the finger. Ginger, uh, it reminds me of these robotic drones that got two long legs. Looks like, looks dog-like. Oh, right. There might be something similar in the game, by the way. <laughs> Except the time it's a human being <laughs> delivering stuff. Yeah, that's completely different, right? There we go. Cargo container ruined. Lost cargo medical instrument. Well, sorry. But that's lost cargo, that's not the cargo uh, for our major mission to Port Knox City. Okay. Nice. Nice. 56 centigrams of chiral crystals. And even more of them here. Oh really? It's good to know. I just found out that you can there we go. you can change your camera angle. Quite nice. Okay, the rain has stopped. The distribution center is right over there, so we're gonna cross the bridge and go inside, fix the cargo. We will actually just store it because the four 
bigger containers are meant to go to Port Knox City. And then we will uh, go back, try to find a lost cargo from Luden's fan to deliver it. Sam, it's Hartman. Okay. Your friend and fellow doom sufferer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, our affliction, Funny. such as it is, began with the beach, or rather, our discovery of it. Once the question of life after death was answered only by religion and philosophy. But when we learned of the beach's existence, death became something more tangible, knowable. The living soon walked the shores of the afterlife, while dead things, beached things, began to find their way back. And then came dooms, and with it a host of theories advanced by physicians and psychologists, desperate to explain the world's newest mystery. The symptoms were duly categorized and stratified into levels. But repatriates like you are a singularly rare breed, worthy of a classification all your own. The specialists must have been climbing over one another to get a look at you. <laughs> I wonder what they found. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Hmm. All right, so, Gingerster, I noticed something. There are no trees in this game. There are. There is a little area on this very map with trees. It's actually here. Doesn't look like it on the map. Maybe a little. It actually looks like rocks, but these are trees. And I have seen deliveries which were... Uh, which said that I'm delivering timefall protected... Uh, timefall resistant wood. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But everything gets destroyed by time fall, but some trees don't. So there are trees. That blew my mind. I've never seen a tree either. Uh, yeah, there are trees. Definitely. Yeah, it's all green. You'd expect to see a single tree. Yep, there are. Odd. So there is some kind of a time fall resistant wood. I don't know why it wasn't explained. Maybe even they don't know, or based on the story, they don't know a lot about the effects. But timefall fast forwards time. So it damages our cargo, or uh, when you go through the rain, you can see that the, the grass is growing and immediately grows dead again, or drops dead. So, not sure. Not sure. Happy Tree Friends! Jesus, I forgot about that one. That's, that's an old one. That was a nasty little piece of uh, animation. Happy tree friends. Every tree needs a happy friend too. <laughs> That's a Bob Ross reference, I guess. Indeed. <laughs> give it a little push, give it a little touch. And a few happy little trees. <laughs> yeah, glad that you knew about it. Yeah, uh, well... I was watching those while I was probably at the university. There was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, it was <laughs> some dark arts definitely freak show. Barando, I was on Bob Ross, but okay. Yeah, yeah, I definitely got the Bob Ross reference as well. <laughs> you hit it spot on, Barando. Ginger, sir, I used to watch them when I was at high school. It's so... Holy moly. Yeah. Must have been a while. Okay. Mm. So this is how I can do it. Wow, this is much better. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, teddy bear. <laughs> That's a huge help. You don't need to put down your cargo at all. You just spray it on your back. Oh, Bibi's happy. Let's check on Bibi. Look at him go. It's okay. I'm gonna soothe him a little bit. We got some hearts. Have you seen those little hearts? He just... Blows them out of his mouth. There we go. 